She wanna get saved. I ain't gon' save her, tryna get saved. She wanna get saved. I ain't gon' save her, tryna get saved. This is a very serious matter, guys. Usually, I'm able to joke around on my YouTube videos, able to joke around, flip out, do a little extra, you know what I mean? Like, I usually do, because I'm usually not that mad. Like, that Kevin Durant thing, I was mad about it, but I'm not that mad about it. Like, let, like, let him do his thing, but, like, this is a very serious matter that we have at hand, guys. Outs and Sterling. The aftermath. Wow. I go downstairs to go eat a Hot Pocket, to warm a Hot Pocket up so I could continue making YouTube videos for you guys. And I go downstairs, and on the TV is the Dallas shooting. 11 police shot at, 4 have been killed, and there are 7 that are wounded. I believe it was that. I might have that flip backwards. The man is still on the loose. They don't know who did it, and I just want to talk about how I feel about this. And I don't, I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. But I want to talk to you guys about it. It'll help me understand the situation at hand. Sterling told the guy to leave him alone. He told the homeless man to leave him alone. He kept saying it to him. He didn't listen. So Sterling showed him his gun. And after that point, the homeless man decided to call the police. First off, if you're homeless, why, why, how do you have a cell phone if you are homeless? Clearly, you're not homeless. And the fact that he kept asking for money after he said, leave him alone, Sterling had every single right to be like, okay, back off. This is your warning. I'm telling you right now, you're kind of like threatening me a little bit. He didn't pull it. He just showed him the gun. You know what I mean? So he just showed him the gun. And he ended up calling the police. And when the police arrived, they were on top of this man. There's a video of it. If you look up videos, you will find a video of it. They were on top of this man. Two, two police officers are on top of one man. And this has happened so many times, so many times over the past few years. And people continue to say all lives matter, black lives matter, white lives matter. All of them matter. I'm not saying that. But when a situation like this occurs, where a black man was on the ground, yes, he had a weapon. He did not reach for his gun. His gun was pinned down to the ground. What did the police officer do? There was two of them. What did they do while he was on the ground when they're both on top of him and he cannot reach his gun even if he wanted to because it was pinned to the ground and he never tried to reach for it? They shot the man. They shot and killed him for no reason. And this has happened so many times over the years and I continue. I could, I have, I've never made a video about this type of stuff before. I've made a video about the Freddie Gray riots, and this video is way more serious than that because now we have a huge situation on our hands. Like I said, I went downstairs to go get a Hot Pocket, and I seen the Dallas shooting. And you you have to feel for the people. I mean, the people that are so frustrated about their own race being killed and nothing ever happening. No justice is served. And yes, it happens to all different types of races. But there's just, there's a lot of racist people out there. And people have been saying this for the past couple years because they keep on seeing it. And finally, these people are pissed off and they want to make a stand. They want to fight back. They want to start shooting people back. They're tired of the police running around like they're a gang trying to run shit. Because it's not going to happen that way. It's not going down like that. It is, it is... It's not, a, it's not good. I don't pro promote violence. I don't like what's going on now. But I'm saying is that people are now angry that nothing has happened. And there's no justice that is being served. Not even just this situation, but a lot of different situations. And people are now angry about that. And so what they're doing is now they're going to be violent about it. And now they're going to take a stand. And that's the way that they take their stand. And another thing is with this whole situation is now people are going to want to turn against the United States of America because people are going to start seeing, oh, the United States doesn't care about their people. 
So then people are going to start going against the United States, start killing people from the United States. And, oh my goodness, man, this is just, this is crazy because it is tough to talk about because these things I'm talking about are things that I do not want to happen because people will start fighting back against the government and people will start shooting people as they just did, as they just showed, it was one man. I've seen a couple of tweets and the people say that it was a peaceful protest and that that man that was shooting was not there during that. But nobody knows who the man is. They just know that there was a man that was shooting on top of a building because he was pissed about what happened. And I'd be pissed too. And I am pissed about it. Now, I would have never taken it to that type of lengths, but people will start doing that. And I just... That is just horrible to me, and it's horrible to me that that black people, white people, it doesn't matter. But in this case, another black person was killed, and no justice was served. And these things continue to happen when people are on the ground with no weapon or with a weapon, but they can't do anything. The guy at the Fruitville Station, I forget his name, the same incident Guy has his, they wanted him to roll over, he got his knee on his neck, he cannot roll over, he says, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, and what did they do, he was unarmed, he said he went to go for his taser, he shot him in his back, the guy got one year in prison, one year, and he took a man's life, away from his daughter, away from his girlfriend, away from his mom, his dad, everybody that he ever knew, and that's exactly what's happening now. The owner of the convenience store says that the video was probably caught on his cameras and the police took them and they're going to put that towards the investigation toward this whole entire situation. And there's also the police camera and they're going to look into that. But the police camera was dislodged according to CNN. But I do not believe that. I'm sick of believing what everybody's trying to tell me, and I'm tired of listening, and people need to open up their goddamn eyes. The government is doing this on purpose. They're trying to distract you from the things that are going around the world, around our country, things that are happening that are bad, and now they're doing something like this, and there's going to be no justice that's going to be served, even though there's going to be all this evidence. And you want to know why? Because the body camera footage apparently fell no. He killed, he knew he was going to kill the guy. He knows he's going to get away with it. So what he did was get rid of that so there's no evidence. So then people can't flip out. But that's not how it's going down this time. And that is my honest opinion of it. The honest truth. And I really think that's what's going to happen. Is that no justice will be served once again. And the American people will be pissed about it. And they have every single right to, just as you guys do that are watching the video. And it is really starting to piss me off that nobody fucking sees what's going on around this goddamn country. And I'm done. I'm out. I can't stand talking about it anymore.